Hey, John Cristani here, and I've made tens of millions of dollars doing affiliate marketing, and I'm gonna be going over in this video how to do affiliate marketing with paid advertising. No, this isn't for everybody. I've looked at my demographics, and I know a lot of you folks are from like India and Pakistan, and you complain about having absolutely no money. This video is not for you. Go to my free traffic videos, which I will have a link to somewhere around this video. Go to those videos, but if you're interested in learning how how to do things fast. Paid advertising helps you make big money fast, but you need to have money to do paid advertising. You can get started very cheaply with paid advertising. If you promote app install type offers, you can get started for as low as a few bucks. 10 bucks can get you started in paid advertising. So let's get into the three top tips I have for you to start getting into my favorite part of affiliate marketing, my favorite traffic source, paid advertising. Let's get it. Now my first tip for paid advertising is you want to test offers to see what converts best. Now one of the mistakes that a lot of people like uh, MLM, network marketing, direct marketing, whatever they call it now, they keep changing the names, people fall into is they fall in love with whatever their offer, their company is, you know, LuLaRoe, Amway, Herbalife, you know, they just love that one product. Whereas with paid advertising, you can't fall in love with any particular offer. You need to just test, 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 and go with whatever pays you the most money. Take emotion completely out of the situation and just focus on the data of what pays you the most money. Having one offer just puts you in a dangerous place because if that offer goes away, then you're left without a income source. And also some offers don't convert as well as other offers. So again, you need to test. Some networks go away. Some affiliate networks go away as well. So once again, you should have multiple offers that you are testing. What the real world ramifications of this advice is, is actually that when you're building out your marketing funnels, when you're building out your ads or your pre-sale page, you should basically make them offer blind or make your ads blind so that they can apply to not just, you know, let's say Herbalife or, you know, not just one sort of weight loss pill, but you can market multiple weight loss pills. So an example would be is that you don't get too specific on the one product or the one company. You keep everything in your marketing high level so that again it gives you the flexibility for people to buy whatever it is you end up recommending you'll notice in my marketing I say sign up for a website with my top recommended hosting company and I don't get into the specifics of what the particular company is because again my top recommended hosting company changes from time to time the second major piece of advice here is you always need to use a pre-sell page or a landing page or a whatever you want to call it. Now, there's a number of reasons for this. First off, if you're doing advertising on Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or basically any other major ad network, you have to use a pre-sale page. They do not allow you to directly link to the affiliate offer itself. It's just necessary for 80% of the traffic out there. The second reason you do this is because it warms up the traffic. Even if you were allowed to direct link to affiliate offers, it wouldn't be worthwhile. I tried it and that's what held me back for four years. You want to warm up the audience. You need to sell them. Again, people don't want to just step in and see a product and say, oh, okay, it's, you know, 50 bucks. I don't want to buy this. You need to explain to them and create the rationale. Give them a video, give them an article, give them a blog post that really convinces them of why this product is something they'd want to buy. This should be a way of educating them. So an example might be, you write an article that says 19 ways to earn money on the internet if you have zero dollars in your bank account. And then you go on to list out a number of offers or products or things that they can sign up for if they want to start making money online, for instance. Another example might be a blog post that says 
how I got five dates and got laid for the very first time as a 30 year old after I learned these two things about women, right? Interesting blog post, 30 year old virgin showing how to get lots of dates, right? If you're in the relationships niche, that would be a very interesting blog post that somebody might read and you can sell that person on buying some sort of relationship oriented ebook. Again, the recommendation, people hate being sold and the recommendation coming from an article, a blog post, a whatever is going to have a massive effect on conversion rates. You should be seeing 10% conversion rates when people click over to the affiliate offer that you are promoting and you will not get that if you are direct linking to anything. You need to use pre-sale pages. And this is what actually held me back for four years in affiliate marketing. I kept trying to do it the hard way by not having a website. I failed way more than I ever succeeded. But once I actually started using pre-sale pages and I I loved using click funnels to create them. Then I actually started making hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. Now, my third piece of advice is to never forget to build your email lists if you can. I know marketers who were making millions of dollars per year and now are making nothing because they never built a list, right? Once their ads stop working, their income goes to zero. Now, what's great is if you have an email list, you keep making money even if your ads are turned off. What's great about me is for me, I have an email list of over a million people right now of people who have signed up for various email list promotions of mine over the years, right? I have a link to sign up for a free webinar down below and over a million people have signed up to see the free webinar over the course of the last like two or three years. That's helped me also create another income stream right there from my email list. And you can build multiple lists as well. So you can build SMS notification lists. You can build chat lists, chatbot lists, notification lists, right? You know, this is sort of a list right here, my YouTube subscribers. So there's a lot of ways that you can build up your digital assets while you are doing paid advertising to generate money. My advice is get people on as many different lists as possible and it'll help you for the long term. Now well, thanks for watching and make sure to enable notifications on, you know, subscribe first off and enable notifications. I give away thousands of dollars every single month to my subscribers. You see we have a lot of Amazon money we give away here. I scratch these off live every Monday on my live streams and uh, you know you can be one of the winners. So it doesn't matter what country you're from, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, whoever's got the fastest fingers will make the money. So thank you for watching, have a great day, all the best, peace. Hi John, I wanted to take a quick moment to give you a quick testimonial. Uh, yesterday I made my first online affiliate commission. I'm absolutely uh, totally excited and for the first time I really see that you know I have a future in this and I have someone who has my back. So again John, just thank you so much for your time to just uh, help everybody in the group and just to give us you know nothing but but value week after week after week. Again, thank you so much. I'm freaking excited today. Uh, if you guys can tell, I got my first sale. Oh, he's like, I got two of them. Hi there, my name is Phil Carrick from Northern Ireland, and I just want to give a big shout out to John Cristani. What John does is he walks you through a step-by-step -step process, really from A to Z, 